Hello, everyone. We're now going to cover the menu links feature that is part of 15.7.1. So this has been a, a long-awaited capability. Um, customers have been asking for um, the ability to access other pages or uh, other clarity pages or other systems outside of the context of a project or a custom investment type. So now there is a new way to define those links and categories independent of that project or custom investment type uh, in order to directly access a third-party application or another um, clarity page directly from this menu system. Um, in this release, the target page uh, will open. So if you're in this example here, if you click on strategy mix analysis, that target page will open in a separate browser window. I'll talk about kind of the direction this is taking uh, in the coming slides. So that's the, the basics of what's new. Now, just, um, oh, so why is this important? I kind of talked about this on the previous slide. Uh, I, as I mentioned, um, customers have really come to appreciate the ability to provide users with access to clarity pages or other apps in the context of a project or in custom investment type using links or channels. So, for example, within the project, you can get to your BI tool, which may contain uh, project-specific information related to resources or costs using links or projects. I'll talk about uh, the plan going forward with respect to channels in a minute. Uh, so, with this in mind, you know, customers have been asking for this capability to, to get to these types of pages, whether it's a third-party tool or a clarity page, from the menu system itself. itself. Um, so we're excited to have this in now in this release. Uh, da, 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 da. So as I mentioned, you can get to the information directly from uh, the menu system. Just like any other uh, menu item, there is a new link, of course, called menu links. Uh, and there's a new set of rights uh, that are associated with this. Um, of course, the first one that you need is the menu links navigate right to be able to visually see that uh, entry in the, in the menu system. And then you've got your standard create, edit, delete, and view links that are there. Um, as I, it's probably going to come up, um, this is a, a set of links that are created for all users. It is not a specific set of, uh, you can't isolate in this release, um, you know, a set of links for a specific user or user group. It is, a, it is one set of links for all users to access, and then these rights control what they can actually do with them. So first off, we've got links available from the menu system, and uh, the same improved design that's now in place for custom investment types is also going to be in place for the menu links design. This same design, the improved design, will be added to projects, uh, kind of refactoring how links are uh, presented today is a little bit different, and we talked about that in the last supportability training. Um, but then this will also be added to ideas. We're targeting the next release to bring links uh, into ideas. Okay? So that's kind of the structure of how you, uh, what you see when you uh, enter into the links. Um, Menu links also supports uh, a parameter. Uh, it supports the logged in username. So um, when you define that URL, you, know, you pick the target page that you want, and then you simply append the uh, link with this parameter here uh, for the username. Uh, so just got an example here of, of how you would define it technically. The lower screenshot is really just uh, an example of how the system Resolves in this example, it's a, an admin is the logged in user. So fairly straightforward, and again, it gets you that great capability when you're integrating with third-party systems to filter the tar filter the target page based on the logged in username. Okay, so the demonstration is going to be uh, fairly straightforward: defining that link, navigate to the target page, and then. Um, working with the system to add that username as a parameter, and um, that'll wrap up the demonstration. So let me come out of PowerPoint.
I'll come back to the product. And I'm going to go over to menu links here. Uh, just be aware that um, there is a, a slight delay from the user experience side when you click on that uh, to bring up the links page that you see here. As I mentioned, we've got the same kind of UX, set up a new category, um, edit the categories, uh, at least not the general one that's there by default. Um, and then, of course, you can name these and edit these as you wish and add a new link. Um, here I defined uh, the Parker training folder. Um, let me do something. I'm going to click out of this. I think I have um, another page. Actually, I'll just keep it simple here. I was going to get another link. So I'm going to come in here. We're going to go Google.com. We're going to call it Google. Done. And there we have a new link defined using the same uh, design. And obviously, I can just navigate off, and I'm good to go. And notice that it opens up in a separate tab in this release. Um, I have my Parker training folder. Hopefully, all of you have access to this folder to get you to, you know, all the information that's here. That's another one going off in the box. Again, it opened in a separate window. But what I wanted to do here is kind of wrap the demo here, is come in and append this with the proper um, technique for uh, putting in a username, a logged in, I'm sorry, the logged in user ID parameter. And I just need to do um, username and a shift, and that should do it. Bum, 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 check my notes. Okay. And all I need to do here is just kind of hover over it. I just want to show you that it's resolving. You can see at the end of the defined URL, it's got my, the username for me as a logged in user. Now, I'm not going to show going off and connecting to a third party system. We don't have anything set up with that single sign on, et cetera. But as far as the system, it's resolving the URL to support the logged in username parameter. And then from an integration standpoint, it just goes from here. Okay. So um, that concludes the demo uh, for today on menu links. It's fairly straightforward, right? Because we're familiar with links uh, within projects and custom investment types. And it's basically the same behavior. It's just now afforded to the user with the proper permissions in the menu system. As I mentioned, this is for all users. Um, there isn't any uh, filtering that if Ian comes in, he only he doesn't see training, you know what I mean? Um, so expect that type of capability to be looked at in a future release.